Welcome to SECSchedule.com. We will be previewing the 2021 Arkansas Razorbacks football schedule. Head coach Sam Pittman is looking to build off his first season in Arkansas that saw the Razorbacks finish 3-7. To do it, he'll need to replace several key departures, including QB Felipe Franks and defensive lineman Jonathan Marshall. Marshall was the only Hawk selected in the 2021 NFL Draft, taken in the sixth round by the Jets. For more information on the SEC schedule, head on over to SECSchedule.com. Please leave any comments below, like, and subscribe. The Arkansas offense is led by junior preseason SEC first-team wide receiver Traylon Burks, who finished 2020 fifth in the SEC with 820 receiving yards. He's joined by K.J. Jefferson, who takes over QB for former Gator transfer Franks, who's now with the Atlanta Falcons, plus a pair of preseason second and third team SEC selections in center Ricky Stromberg and offensive lineman Myron Cunningham. Cunningham is considered by many the Razorbacks' best NFL prospect in next year's NFL draft. On defense, the Hogs are led by dominant linebacker Grant Morgan, an SEC second team preseason selection. Arkansas finished 2020 eighth in the SEC in total offense and 10th in total defense. The Razorbacks look to kick off the season on the right foot against Rice on Saturday, September 4th, 2 p.m. The home game will be televised and streamed on ESPN+. The Owls are coming off a very short five-game season in 2020 that saw them finish 2-3. The last time Arkansas faced Rice was 20 years ago when they shut out the Owls 20 to nothing. Pittman needs to get the team going quickly because the Texas Longhorns storm into Fayetteville on Saturday, September 11th at 7 p.m. on ESPN. Texas needs to replace gunslinger Sam Ellinger at quarterback, who is now with the Indianapolis Colts. The QB battle has been raging in Austin, but if anyone is capable of sorting it out, it's first-year head coach Steve Sarkeesian. The last time these two former Southwest Conference rivals played was in 2014, with the Hogs coming away with an impressive 30-7 victory. The Longhorns, along with the Oklahoma Sooners, announced in 2021 that they will be joining the Southeastern Conference starting play in 2025. Welcome aboard. Following a home game against Georgia Southern on Saturday, September 18th at 4 p.m., airing on the SEC Network, the Razorbacks host their fourth straight game on Saturday, September 25th against another former Southwest Conference rival in Jimbo Fisher's Texas A&M Aggies. A&M is coming off an impressive 2020 season and is considered a serious challenger to Alabama's crown in the West. The Aggies are breaking in a new QB of their own in Haynes King, taking over for Kellen Mond. They may have to rely on the legs of star running back and first team SEC preseason selection Isaiah Spiller in the beginning of the season. Last year, the Aggies beat Arkansas 42-31. The season gets even tougher for the Hogs as they hit the road on Week 5 with a grueling trip to Athens to take on Kirby Smart and the Georgia Bulldogs on Saturday, September 2nd. Georgia is led by QB JT Daniels, a breakout star of the 2020 season who is carrying heavy expectations on his shoulders. The teams faced off last September with the Bulldogs getting the best of the Hogs 30-7. From there, Arkansas heads west to Mississippi on Saturday, October 9th to take on Lane Kiffin and the high-scoring Ole Miss Rebels, who are led by preseason All-SEC QB Matt Coral. Expectations are running high in Oxford. The game will be a serious test for Pittman's defense. The Razorbacks won last year's game 33-21. Arkansas heads back to Fayetteville on Saturday, October 16th for homecoming to take on first-year head coach Brian Harson and the Auburn Tigers. Auburn will bring with them first-team SC preseason selection tank Bigsby. Last year's contest was close with the Tigers scraping by with a close 30-28 victory. On Saturday, October 23rd, Arkansas Pine Bluff will take a bus three hours upstate to visit the Razorbacks before a much-needed off week for Pittman's squad, followed by a home game on Saturday, November 6th against Mississippi State and second-year head coach Mike Leach. It's sure to be an entertaining game. Last year, the Razorbacks beat the Bulldogs 21-14. Arkansas travels the following weekend, Saturday, November 13th, to Baton Rouge to take on Ed Orgeron and the LSU Tigers. LSU is looking to rebound after a down year in 2020. The Razorbacks got the best of the Bayou Bengals last year with a slim 27-24 victory. On Saturday, November 20th, the Razorbacks travel to Tuscaloosa for arguably their toughest matchup of the season to take on Nick Saban and defending SEC and national champion Alabama, who are replacing several stars, including Mac Jones, Najee Harris, 
Patrick Sertan II, and Heisman Trophy winner Devontae Smith. The Crimson Tide will be, feature first-year starter Bryce Young, a QB, who's already approaching seven figures in NIL money. Last year, Alabama handed the Hogs their worst loss of the season, 52-3. Finally, Arkansas travels on the day after Thanksgiving, Friday, November 26th, to take on entertaining head coach Eli Drinkwitz and his Missouri Tigers. The game will be televised on CBS at 3.30 p.m. The Tigers' defense is anchored by second-team All-SC defensive lineman Trajan Jeff Cope. Last year's annual cross-border battle was a barn burner with Missouri just getting the better of the Razorbacks 50-48. And that's Arkansas's 2021 regular season schedule. If you have any comments, please leave them below. Do you think Sam Pittman is the answer in Fayetteville? How many wins do you think the Razorbacks will finish with in 2021? If you like this video, please like and subscribe to the channel. Also, remember to visit www.sccschedule.com for the complete 2021 SC schedule. Thanks for watching.